and welcome back to Planet Nibiru. This is going to be a short video on some space weather that we have had in our way in the next few days. A recent article based on NASA's Solar Observatory report on Friday morning that a gaping hole in the sun has turned earthward and is spewing fast-moving radioactive particles that could cause major solar storms here on Earth, resulting in massive blackouts and more. According to the article, a giant fissure has opened across the sun and is spewing rapid solar winds toward our planet. This coronal hole is a vast region where the sun's magnetic field tears apart, allowing solar wind to escape. Supercharged solar winds flow through the sun's atmosphere and are expected to reach Earth on April 23rd or April 24th. According to the U.S. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, this could whip up a moderately strong geomagnetic storm. Solar flares shoot charged particles which can reach the Earth and beyond. Our planet has a natural protection against them called our magnetosphere, which is a magnetic field and an atmosphere that blocks most of these particles. But they can directly affect communications and radio transmissions, sparking concerns that they could wreak havoc on modern civilization. They are also particularly dangerous for airline pilots and astronauts who could be susceptible to radiation during a storm. One of the most spectacular consequences is an aurora like the northern lights. When these charged particles hit our magnetic field, their glow is turned into a colorful streaks and can be seen across the sky. Our growing dependence on technology puts humans at greater risk every year on the risk of failing power grids, planes and satellites, and other things that could stop working. Earlier this year, former U.S. President Barack Obama was forced to issue a chilling warning to the nation in preparation for devastating space weather storms. He said, Extreme space weather events, those that could significantly degrade critical infrastructure, could disable large portions of the electrical power grid, resulting in cascading failures that would affect key services such as water supply, health care, and transportation. This type of solar storm is why, in 2016, President Obama created Executive Order 13744, which gives key powers to FEMA, the Secretary of Energy, the Secretary of Defense, and Homeland Security in the event of a declared space weather emergency. I have placed a link to the executive order in the description of this video so that you can read for yourself all the powers that will be turned over to the government when one of these space weather emergencies are declared. Special thanks to one of our most astute community members for pointing out this executive order. So take special care on the 23rd and 24th in case we are hit with some type of solar storm. I'm sure most of our community members have get home bags and things like that in their vehicles in case of an emergency and are prepared at home, so that's probably part of a lifestyle for most of us. If it's not part of your lifestyle, maybe you should consider making it part. So be on the lookout and we will be back with a new video soon. Hey folks, I just wanted to take a quick minute to let you know that our Spreadshirt store is up and running. It's a great way to show support for the channel and our search for truth. We have a bunch of cool Planet x based designs as well as some very cool pop culture and geographical designs that we think you will love. Our designs are created from some of the things that we love most. Our search for truth, movies that we love, and TV shows we grew up on. These cool original designs will make great conversation starters, especially if someone else recognizes the significance of the logo or slogan. So click on the link and visit our Spreadshirt store today. As always, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. We will be back soon with more great stuff. See you then.